real and raw, my friends. That's where I'm at this morning. Hello. This is where I'm at. Cleaning supplies, laundry, hair not pulled back, workout clothes on, but I haven't gone working out yet. Pile of, clo of stuff of Kaylee's I haven't taken up. We're working on it. Pile of donate. Pile of donate. I haven't taken that down. But the rest of the stairs are clear. Two of the girls are asleep. That's still here. This is all Kaylee stuff. Poof is there. Abby's asleep. Ashley's asleep. Um, but the rest of this room, if you haven't watched my other videos, you don't know why that's kind of important. And I'm purposely hiding the current mess behind me. <laughs> laundry to put away. All right, dirty laundry to take down. I'm actually gonna wait till after I shower, after I work out. I was gonna get up and go straight to working out, but, and I'm still going to go work out. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I was kind of just doing my normal thing on my phone. I was checking emails, checking schedule, checking Facebook, just doing my normal rounds. And my AirPods weren't, my case wasn't completely charged, which is fine, the AirPods are. So I was charging those. And I had my watch on here last night, but I think I undid it um, to charge my phone and hold it in my hand because this like collapses so you can kind of hold it. But my watch wasn't charged when I woke up because I forgot to put it back on. But let's see if it's actually charging on this one. Okay, so this is Jason's charger over here. That ding, I can't get that to do it on my charger. <laughs> So I'm kind of like my watch is my tracker. It is my mile tracker. And so I want to wear my watch on my walk. And so I'm not going to go quite yet. Plus it's kind of like I, I'm going to go on normal days where it's like cloudy overcast. I just thought it was going to be sunnier today. Um, it's not, not yet. So because it's not quite sunny, my watch isn't charged quite yet. And I have this project that I'm going to do up here. I was like, you know what, I can't waste time just sitting here waiting for my watch or waiting for the sun to come out. I need to be productive, but I kind of need to do it quietly. I'm actually going to go shut my door. And then I'm going to show you this mess. <laughs> I'm currently dancing around. Literally dancing around it. First, I'll start with the bed. I have so much laundry that I've been doing that um, I have it just dumped onto my bed. These go to the closet, which is what I've also been organizing. I'll show you that in a sec. These are the now drop cloths um, that we <laughs> used for um, painting, which is fine because they, they've already pilled. We've already been using them. They're just at the stage of like cheap uh, sheets being pilled and stuff. So we won't use them as sheets anymore, but they'll work perfectly for another painting project, which now I really want to get the stairs done. So I'm just putting away laundry. I just dumped it out just to get it all done and force myself to put it all away. So towels, um, let me just show you the closet. I kind of just restacked the towels up, but it's part of my little project that I want to work on in here because this project over here, <laughs> and purposely I have been dumping things like haphazardly instead of putting them away because I know I'm going to redo this entire area. And yes, mattress is still here. When Abby wakes up, we're going to put this mattress on her trundle. She has a trundle underneath her bed, and so that's where we're going to store the mattress. Um, and then when Kaylee is back from her trip, she can either take the mattress out and put it in the, the playroom out there, or she can just sleep on the poof. So um, I don't think Abby will want her to bunk with her. <laughs> I, don't, I cannot imagine um, them pulling the trundle out and sleeping in the same room again. That's probably not ever going to happen. But I am going to redo this entire makeup shelf area-ish because it's just a mess and I don't have enough room to store stuff. So it's always like down here on the floor. Like I've got curling irons and flat irons and blow dryers. There's a blow dryer on the floor over there. And apparently there's Legos. So actually I'm, I might when I start working on this, I'm gonna actually store the Legos in the other room. Probably gonna take that open bin of Legos, when it's the lower one down there on the floor and put them in one of these taller big buckets. Um, 
they might be separated for a reason but there's no lid on that bucket which is kind of annoying <sighs> it's kind of a big project okay so we're gonna keep moving on here part of what I'm going to do is with the linen closet out here I just folded and put away a lot of these towels for the kids okay so I folded all the towels and got them restacked so that it's obvious where they go when I ask the kids to put the towels away I put swim towels up here and actually Kaylee is gonna take these two big swim towels with her they're gonna fall down um, she's gonna take those with her because her new apartment complex has a pool so I told her she can have those too because we never take those and she usually uses those at the at the lake here um, and then she's the only one who uses them her and Jacob use them so I like to take our smaller ones that compact down so she's gonna take those actually sorry I should actually just set them I can actually just do that I'm gonna put them out here <laughs> really trying to like make sure she knows what she's got to pack up this is all her stuff and then um, the other part that I'm gonna do because I'm de-junking like majorly I'm gonna ask Chelsea I think she still uses this so I'm not sure why it's in here other than she didn't have room in her other closet so um, when I put the camera down I'm gonna pull that out there's a bucket here that has Christmas lights in it, and these are parts for that shelf. I'm just going to throw away because we're never going to redo the shelf. Um, and then I'm just going to start to store or um, sort through some of these bins. As you can see, we've got toilet paper in all three of these bins. We've got new soap, um, probably new toothpaste under here. So I just want to organize these and know what we have. I actually got rid of, see, there's just this kind of stuff that they just put in here and I'm done. Like I want to de-junk and organize so we know exactly what we have. Put these away, put these away. Just want to make it obvious when I ask them to put the towels away, how to put the towels away. Okay, we're going to come do that probably after my walk because I don't want to wake her up. Um, it's only like nine in the morning, so. <laughs> So part of what I want to do is have some of the like bathroom supplies, like my makeup wipes, um, my, um, what do you call it? Like my lotions, um, my, what do you, my, what do you call these <laughs> hair appliances, curling irons, flat irons, um, blow dryer. I don't use the bathroom. Like I don't do any of that stuff in the bathroom. And so, um, <laughs> it, it bleeds you guys. This is why I haven't done it, is because this project just keeps bleeding into another area. So these drawers, while they're not dirty, they're just cluttered because we just keep junking stuff into them. Um, but I want everything in like one area. And so when we were at Ikea, we got um, three of the Alex drawers. Abby has one in her room that she's using for all of her stuff, similar to what I want to do. And so the other set is going in... Chelsea and Ashley's room, I think. Um, I think Ashley is going to use it. I kind of reorganized her room yesterday. I'll show you when she wakes up. Because um, before we kind of just shoved things into the closet, shoved things into drawers just to get it into the room so that they could go to bed. But I did organize it and I'm like, I think she could use one more little set of drawers or whatever. Um, but then I got one. I got a set of Alex drawers and I'm going to set it up and either set it next to the table here. Sorry, you're against the window so it's not going to be good light. There we go. Also, that's pretty, huh? Because <laughs> this is how I liked my bedroom to be. Big, huge, you know, like industrial power cord to charge the AC. Not going to complain because I want the AC, but it's just not pretty. But this outlet is really finicky and it's starting, like we fixed it. It was kind of sparky. So Jason redid the whole outlet, um, but we don't want it to like short out and so he has that better plug for it so i'm going to put the alex drawer set probably right here i don't want it underneath i want to have it outside of the desk um so that i can store all this kind of stuff in it and as well as like makeup wipes which probably later on today i'm going to go up to marshall's and get a whole bunch of these because like literally i can buy one or two packs of these and that they i have to replace them in my bedroom my bathroom my car um abby's room abby's bathroom like kaylee's bedroom downstairs bathroom like they're immediately gone <laughs> and so i don't have any backup supply of them but i'm also going to create a backup supply in the alex drawers <sighs> are you guys overwhelmed yet <laughs> I also saw, if you're noticing the small details, yes, there's a suitcase out. Haven't decided yet if I'm gonna use a suitcase or just my backpack. Um, I don't know, Kaylee got it out. Kaylee got the suitcase out and all the packing cubes. Well, this was in their bedroom, to be fair. And so was this one. 
this was in their bedroom when we undid their bedroom. Um, but she got out the suitcases in order for her to pack for the trip she's currently on. And it made me kind of think, oh, I need to like think how to pack for taking her to school in a little while. Just because I just told her, just leave it out. I'll think about it because at the time, before we did our bedrooms and before we realized how much junk Kaylee has, um, we were gonna take my Tesla. And so I was like, I want everyone to pack all your stuff in a backpack so we can put all the backpacks in the front and the bottom compartment of my trunk so that we can lay the trunk like piece down and put all of her stuff in the way back of my car and still fit people in the car. That's not gonna happen anymore. <laughs> I had high hopes of taking my Tesla. We still might, depending on how much. Um, and I still might just pack with this because I can just fit, it's just two days. We're just gonna be there for like two and a half days to take her to school. So that's what you see in the background. You know, nothing fancy, it's just my suitcase out. <sighs> now I'd rather go walking. I don't know, I literally don't know where to start. So part of what I, what I need to do is just kind of put the camera down because I, I'm not gonna put the, the Alex drawers together until after my walk and after I kind of straighten up this desk area. So I think that's where I'm at, but I think I might move the Legos now just to get them out of the way. Oh, also at Ikea. This had already gotten taken upstairs when we got home, so I didn't show you. After, this is the proof of how much of a frugal person I actually am. You might see me shopping and spending money a lot because I do like to shop, but I am kind of a frugal person. And the, co the, the concept of spending more than $40 on a lamp, this is a lamp, it was literally $40. You guys, I haven't gotten a new lamp. This is my, this is so embarrassing. This is so embarrassing. This is my lamp. This is my lamp. The current shade is broken. It's so gross. The, the little knobby to turn it on, it really hurts your hand to turn it. I've had it since high school. This is, this came with me from high school to college. It was in my room while I was in college. I moved out, I took it with me, I got married, I brought it with me, and it's been here for 23 years since. It's time, it's time, it is time. I got a new lamp. Everyone was making fun of me at Ikea. I didn't pull the camera out because everyone was so done and over it, but everyone was, just pick a dang lamp. <laughs> they were so annoyed, and I'm super annoyed with my hair. So we're gonna get going because I've already talked your air off for way too long. All right, I have mildly um, decluttered the tabletop. I will do a, a better overhaul once I have the drawer set built. And I'm gonna declutter that and probably, de I will declutter that, wipe down all the perfumes. I'm just not gonna do that yet. Um, all the little hair pieces are over there on the floor. These are like travel things. I'm gonna get them all put into one spot. And then I'm working on the Lego section over here and that's how it's going so far. <laughs> It got too full, so I spilled it. But this bucket here did not have a lid, which is why that fake lid was on top of it. Stacking didn't quite work so well. This guy is missing the third tier um, to make it close. So I don't know if I'm gonna even be able to donate that. Um, trying to get them into these two buckets plus this one. So let's hope that I can get all of those that are on the floor into this bucket. As you saw, I got this done. Love how that turned out. We got deodorant for Jason and toothpaste and a few first aid items kind of left over. Then we have razors, razors, face razors, leg razors, a lotion, and some pads. And it kind of gives me an idea of what we need. Like I need my own deodorant. I don't have any more for me and the girls. A whole soap container, toilet paper, room to spare, not for junk. 
All right, then in my room, you can actually come into my room. Um, the table is cleared off. I've got my stuff ready to go here. I've gotten this area kind of cleaned up. The poofs will eventually go back out into the playroom. This goes in the corner when this isn't in the way. And then I've added a few things in here. Jason's bins and I put the Legos in here. Um, hopefully they can kind of go back into the corner somewhere on either side when we kind of get this space cleared out. For now, they're tucked away. And I kind of got more done than I anticipated. <laughs> um, it's also later than I anticipated going for a walk. Um, but Abby's awake now, so she said she might go with me. Putting the last of the things away. I am really trying as I'm doing this to like in the moment go put things. Well, I have a donate bucket and I have a go downstairs bucket. Well, donate pile, go downstairs pile. Um, and I'm really trying to get everything all at once. Coming back for that because I have something else I need to put away with my hand. But as I've gone and put piles out here, I have, if I'm going downstairs for something, or if I have a second, I'm taking it straight downstairs and outside. This is all donate. Um, I have two more of these outside. Um, this is all to put away in the garage. Like that's still like Hawaii stuff and Japan stuff, travel stuff, and then extra extension cords. And then this is also put away stuff and two bins that I am keeping. And then I have a pile downstairs that I'm donating. That stool just goes down to the kitchen. That stool is donating. So we're getting rid of junk. So I'm going to take all this stuff down. I am done up here for now, but I really need to go for my walk because it's already 11 o'clock and I don't want to be gone on the walk all day. And it, it did not say it was going to rain, um, but these cloudy skies have not gone away. So I'm not going to, oh, there's a little sun coming up through, through there, but we're going to get going here. Get on our walk, get home, find something else. Well, I have to put the shelves together, but to be fair, Ashley wants to do that. She probably will have friends come play or to go to their house. Some of them are out of town. So we're starting in this cycle of um, her friends being gone on vacations and then, you know, that kind of thing. So it gives her something to do when I have little projects like this. Like she wanted me to do this yesterday. I said, nope, I am off duty today. I am not doing that. So she will be glad that I'm ready to go um, to set that shelf up when I get home. All right, I have finished walking. I only did three miles. I don't know, my toe, my knees are really, really tight. I need to go home and stretch. I was trying to actually do some like I don't know, there's squats, just lunges, like just kind of bending my knees a little bit more to stretch them out. So I did three miles and I'm also tired and I have a lot more on my plate today. And I also just want to relax. I might even go shopping, go up to Marshall's. I actually want to go to Old Navy. Anyway, I digress. Um, I have a whole trunk load. See the little bin up there? I have a whole trunk load of stuff that I am donating and I'm just like, I'm in this mode of just get it out. Like don't put it in the garage, don't stack it up, don't wait. So I am currently sitting in line I'm about 10 cars back to donate. It's our little Goodwill. It's not a Goodwill technically by name, but it is a donation site. And I'm going to get rid of it before I go back home. And then I have to go to the bank and I have to go get a package. Um, it is likely for Kaylee. Um, you guys are being very generous in your offerings to help her get to college. Um, she appreciates it very much. Maybe when she gets back into town, I will have her hop on here and tell her, have her thank you. I am going to have her um, write thank you cards because that's the polite thing to do. <laughs> and, um, and actually have her put them in the mailbox and actually mail them, teach her how to do those adult things. So, and then I'm gonna go home. Abby, right before I left, um, I went to see if she wanted to go for a walk with me. And I think she didn't anticipate, I mean, I, t I told her as soon as she woke up, to be fair. I didn't wanna wake her up ahead of time, um, but I woke her up. Could I go over to, oh, that's cool. Yeah, Chelsea wants to go to her friend's house. So yes, let me tell her it really quick. She's an urgent <laughs> answerer. You sure can, exclamation point. When can I take you over? I have a few errands to run and then I will be home. Oh, okay. So she said, are you done with your walk yet? So that was Chelsea. Chelsea's trying to plan to go to a friend's house, which will be fun. Anyway, um, right, so she woke up. I asked her if she wanted to go for a walk. She said yes. She came down, she got a drink, and I said, I'm gonna be going in the next five minutes. I'm just loading this stuff up into my car, wrapping up the things that I'm working on upstairs. And she's like, oh, you're going that fast? And I was like, yes. And I normally would wait for you to like, you know, wanna go with you, but I need to get this walk done because I need to like set these drawers up and finish my room and anyway, and she was like, well, how about I set up your drawers for you? <laughs> I could not, I could not resist. I was like, yeah, 
Okay, go ahead. So I don't think she did both of them. Ashley really, I told her, Ashley really wants to work on one of them, the one that goes in her room. So I don't know if she woke Ashley up. It is one o'clock, it's 1.30. <laughs> I should actually call Ashley um, and see if she's awake. Cause she really did want to work on that. And her and Abby could work together on it. So maybe when I get home, I will have my Alex drawers all set up and I can actually start to organize them and then go buy some more things to go in them. But um, that's, that's my, that's my plan. Now I guess I am taking Chelsea over to someone's house. So I likely will not get a shower for a long time today. Um, and it, it's fine. I'll just get a nice cold shower tonight when I end for the night, possibly. That's probably when I'm gonna actually like be able to slow down and take time to do that, so. But as of right now, it's only a mere 68 degrees outside, even though it's sunny. Oh, I put my sunshade up so you can't see the sun out my roof. It is sunny. It is super nice outside. It was a nice walk, but it wasn't too hot. It was it was very pleasant in the sunshine, but I did get a little bit of, I mean, I'm just getting color for being outside. All right, we were halfway to her friend's house. <laughs> well, cause I had just what? turned on my hotspot when I got the message. Why do you do that? Why don't you just leave it on? You have cell phone coverage I just don't, away from the house. You I don't can know. just be on regular cell phone coverage <laughs> and not Wi-Fi. You were so weird. No, I just don't, you don't always have keep to. it on because when I'm at school, I don't have to turn okay, it on. Okay, but it's summertime. Anyway, we were halfway to her friend's house. She's like, oh, she can't hang out today. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. If there's any motto for Chelsea, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, so she's going to come to Old Navy with me. Yeah. Because we're already like there. So, but then I got to get back home. I did go and look. Abby was about halfway done making my Alex drawer set. So I'm going to go home and turn on Netflix on my TV and finish putting that together and then we can put stuff in it. So I need to learn all the shows you watch and like all the little uh, time frames for it, like The Bachelor or the like Why? Below Deck so that Why? I can make fun of you or something. Be like, oh, so you can watch Below Deck. I can watch them anytime I want because they're <laughs> saved on my, yeah. on my TV. Brat. There's not a new Bachelor out right now. So of course. Good. So that. thank you. You're Found a mother this whole box is filled with clearance pipes. So, good job, Mom. We're stocking up. Thank you. She's embarrassed by me. I no, I just don't want to film. <laughs> I know. Okay, turn off. All right, I had dinner. Now Abby is up here helping me finish these off. We've got the drawers to do, and she's got the main compartment done. Okay, we've got two, three, four, five drawers done, and put them in the base. Then all freaking day morning. Nobody he gets you get on camera. <laughs> How you doing? Okay. Do you need help? You're doing good, love. I'm impressed. Well, Abby did the whole, this whole thing. Nice. So, and then she helped me with so. All right. I'm no need for me. Nope. Go get changed and make your own dinner. Yep. <laughs> All right, I am getting really tired. I am working on my drawers. I'll give you a full tour in just a second, but I'm kind of going through everything. I have these two drawers left to declutter. I've worked on this one and this one so far. Um, so I'll show you what's in here. I'm going through everything on here and wiping it all down. Um, this is actually my Q-tip jar, but the brushes I'm just wiping out this jar. So I'm just gonna declutter. I've already thrown away stuff that was empty. Um, this is Ashley's pile of stuff to take. This is like little clips. Um, I found another Q-tip holder for travel. Um, that's just garbage. Um, Ashley took something else. Oh, my pile of uh, palettes that I donated. I we can't donate them. So she's just going to make a stash to do play makeup with her friends when they come over. So let me just work through this. I'm also decluttering this guy over here. Abby came through after we did the desk and or the cabinet thingy and she went through and smelled all of my perfumes. So I kind of want to like maybe display those more in it like a cute way. So maybe like on top over here or put this over on this side so that that can be really displayed, displayed and seen. All right. Well, we started out a hot mess and now we're going to end not quite a hot mess just fresh out of the shower i ran out of disc space disc space on my camera sd card so i had to go dump the footage really quick right before i got in the shower i was like i give up <sighs> i want to go shower so here we go all right here is the final reveal 
of this space. This is still kind of cluttered, but, and I'm gonna vacuum as soon as I'm done here. But I wanted to make sure I get daylight because it is 8.10 and I'm ready to call it quits. I'm so tired. So we're just gonna start over here really quick. I just put nail care items on this little section here. And then I have a few palettes that I didn't pack away. One, cause this one takes up a lot of space in my holder. And then these guys um, tend to flake really easy when they're moved around. And so I just wanna leave them here. So anyway, you'll see my other sets of makeup palettes in a second. This is just kind of little trinkety things that don't have a place, like a little daytime cold pill. Um, uh, what do you call these? Pimple patches that are loose. Then up here I have my um, razors to shave my face a little travel perfume, and then a few little um, cream eyeshadows, and then my the palette, you've seen that. Over here I just have some perfumes. These are just kind of more just like everyday perfumes that I'm gonna wear, you know, that I wear all the time. This is a little Michael Kors one that I found from my perfume tray, and I'll show you why I have it here instead. I might actually put that in the drawer, but. And we have our chicken scratches right here. Um, that's a sign the girls made me for Mother's Day. And then my mirror, and then I cleaned this guy off. I need to get like a lid to go on top of this. This is my um, coconut oil. It hardens when it's not hot, um, but I use this to shave my face with. So then I've just got makeup items, setting sprays here and there, um, Q-tips. This is um, clips that are in here, um, makeup brushes. So this is a little caddy that swivels around. Um, so that's really handy. And then we have the little box tray cart. I don't even know what you call this. <laughs> little makeup stand. In the top tray, I don't have very much. I have a few extra of my razor blades, a little headband, a necklace, not really sure what that was from, and then a face mask in the top one. Here in the second drawer, I have a bunch of my ColourPop eyeshadows. I really love ColourPop. I just like the glittery look to them. And then I have my Ordinary. Um, this is a cleaning, a peeling solution. It's a cleaning thing for your face. Kind of exfoliates it. And then this one is Moroccan oil. I actually don't use that one very much. And then that's my backup supply. Got some more eyeshadows and a lipstick back there. All right, we opened the window, so I have a little bit more light down in here. In here I have all of my mascaras, my cream blushes, uh, a little concealer, and the last of my foundation. I'm gonna get a new one. I'm literally on the last dregs of that. Then here's some more primers as well. Then I've got my powders back here. I've got my setting powder, bronzing powder, highlight, and another setting powder, and then just like a random uh, lipstick here. Next drawer down are makeup palettes. I tend to use these ones more often, so I have them just right up here on top. And then in the bottom one, I do have ones that I use every once in a while. I'm not gonna throw them away. Um, these ones tend to be like my fall, my winter ones. They're darker colors. Um, and then this is a highlighter and my clips to straighten my hair with. I just, actually I could put those in the drawer, but it's just easy to grab them here. And then there are my perfumes on the tray. I thought it looked really cute. And you can see now, like they're all glass and they all look really pretty. And so I didn't wanna put that Michael Kors like lotion on there cause it just didn't really fit. Um, just so you know, you guys know, these are expensive perfumes. Um, not the most expensive by any means, but I didn't pay for any of them except for the Michael Kors in the way back over there. I used to get them free from Costco. <laughs> so um, if you've been here long enough to understand that, kudos to you because that's a long time. All right, then in the drawers, the top one, I'm still gonna kind of organize this a little bit better. I've got extra hair ties that I need to put on little rings like this. I've got that kind on these, this one, and then these ones here. I've got a random pack of band-aids. Um, some first, I've got, I don't know, I'm gonna rearrange the little this a little bit better. Kind of my hair care drawer, I don't know. I think I want a little bowl or something to put my uh, makeup sponges or I don't know, I don't know how to do these because usually when I'm using them, they're powdery, they're wet, they have foundation on them and so I don't want the drawer to get dirty. So I might like come up with a little can container for here on the countertop or for in the drawer, but I'm just leaving them there for now. And then I've got makeup wipe, um, lotions and a backup lotion because the top one's almost gone. And if you know, you know, and if you don't know, you should. If you're wearing shorts this summer, that is a wonderful thing. This drawer here is kind of a pod pod, mod podge of, randomness. I've got a whole bunch of scrunchies in here. Um, 
I don't really use those nail polishes, so I'm probably gonna take those down. Along with the nail remover, um, Ashley needs to take that to her bedroom because she's the one who needs the Tums the most. This drawer is going to be a lot of my travel stuff, but I haven't, I'll show you here in a second. Um, but it's, I, it's empty because I haven't gone through it yet. I've got my makeup bag here and my travel bag there. And then I have another one in the ba bathroom I'll show you. Um, I need to organize it. I need to like go through it all, not only to go on our little trip with Kaylee, but also to just have every, everything in one place. And then down here, I have all of our makeup wipes. I do have two packs of these out in the linen closet out in the clo out in the hallway, um, but I like to have some of them close by myself. And then backup Q-tips are in that box. And in the very bottom drawer, I have all of my hair appliances, which is super nice to have them all in one place and easy to get to. This is why I haven't gone through <laughs> all of my travel supplies. I should bring it out here so I'm mo more motivated. Um, I'll just give you a quick glimpse. Um, these are just my travel shampoos that we have left over um, on all of the um, Chloe Landing. Wow. All these extra shampoos and lotions and soaps, um, ear medicine for Chelsea. So I just haven't gone through all this stuff. But also, it can kind of just stay here. You know what I mean? Like, and I don't know. I probably will pull out the face sticks. So we have that in our beach supplies. But you know what I mean? On oh, the sunscreen. So I just haven't gone through it yet. But I will. Um, like I said, I'll go through and make a travel thing. And then I will put a lot of this stuff in that drawer. But honestly, some of it, I might actually just make an extra lotion drawer for myself just to store and use up all of the extra lotions. I might just do that. I might just take all these extra lotions and put them in that drawer and then do all the travel stuff in the bathroom drawers. I haven't even touched the bathroom drawers. There's two of them that need to be organized. I'm not even going there today or this week. Like I think I'm off duty the rest of the week from organizing. I think I've had my fair share. So I might do travel stuff in there and then just kind of go through and use up some of these extra boxes body lotions. Um, the shampoo and conditioners, I don't know, not ones that I can use. And so I might just stick them in the showers, but they're also good for travel. Just simple tri trips like that we're going to go do. I might just take them with us. So I just haven't figured it out yet, but also I can have these ones too. So who knows? That's a project for another day. So thanks for joining me um, on this little journey to clean out my room. I'm gonna sign off with you guys, vacuum my room, and watch TV. <laughs> I think I've deserved it. So now you can see why I didn't walk more than three miles because I knew I had all this to do today. So um, I think I got my steps in. I'm pretty sure I did. So take care. Let me know in the, in the comments down below if you have any projects that you have done this summer, if you have any that you want to do, you haven't found the motivation, maybe I can help you. So let me know what you need to work on and maybe we can help each other out. So take care. We'll see you guys next time.